Well, yeah, how's everyone doing? <coughs> Good, I hope it on. Yeah, the Atari Lynx, you know, I love it, you know. And uh, I'm going to play a few Atari Lynx games on my Atari VCS, you know. And uh, the Atari Lynx is a great system. Uh, we got more than 1990, you know. And it's a, it's a great handheld, you know. And uh, I'm hoping that when I go to check the Atari VCS star, uh, that um, the Atari 50th anniversary collection is in the star, you know. Uh, I thought by now it would be there, but I'm going to go to, to the Atari VCS star to see if it's there, you know. And, uh, like, uh, I've got the camera set up so we can play the games properly, you know. So uh, I don't have we can play the games properly, you know. Uh, which before I was using the camera and trying to play the games one handed, you know, so it was awkward, you know. So I hope you, you can see what, what I'm doing, you know. Uh, yeah, so no Atari 50th anniversary collection, yeah. I don't know why, you know what I mean? Um, uh, but I say it will, it, it, it will arrive on the Atari VCS because it says it's going to, you know. So whatever the delay is, I hope you get it sorted out soon, you know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, um, I'm gonna go play a few Atari Lynx games you now. Uh, games that I thought we'd always playing as a kid, you know. And uh, th there's you, you, you just go to Chrome, and you know, and your, your, your Atari VCS it doesn't have to be up, up, upgraded to do this, you know. Uh, you just go to Chrome, you type in Atari Lynx games online. And you have a whole bunch of random them that they that could play the games on, you know. And, um, it's pretty awesome, like, you know. Uh, So just type in uh, Atari Lynx games online. Uh, and I, I had good games, you know, the Atari Lynx, you know. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, now, we, we, look, I said, we, we love the Atari Lynx, so do, you know. Uh, we chose it all with the Game Boy and the Game Gear, but the like, like, like battle of those handhelds had, had, had a bigger game where we and they, 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 they were cheaper but the Lynx was see it's a whole bunch of sites here so I'm going to try this one here and uh, see all, all the Atari Lynx games you know and uh, we didn't know there was an a, a, a anniversary part of the game on the um, Lynx and this is a, a prototype version of the game so I'm going to, I'm going to try that out like you know uh, yeah, uh, Universal Planetary, this is uh, like a prototype uh, for the Atari Lynx, this is awesome. See, look, look, at this, look at this, what's great, great about the Atari VCS. You can play games like this that you, you never knew existed, like, you know. Yeah, Universal Planetary, this is awesome uh, for the Atari Lynx. This is, this is awesome. Not for resale, so... It's a shame that this never actually came out on the links. Maybe it did, but this is a crowd with you know. Uh, that's good music. So I wonder if, if, if this is better than the, the Atari Jaguar version, you know. Noita Moity Fire, 20th Century Fox. Yeah, look, look, look at that as around the same time as the, uh, the Atari Jaguar version, you know. Look, the music is not exactly alien or predator, but it's upbeat. It has a story, year 2012, you know, it's very scoping and probes, you see. <laughs> About Explorer Planet. This, this is awesome. Yeah, because uh, the Jaguar version didn't have a story like this to start the game. You, you just start the game, you know. 
This is awesome. Got funny tanks. Yeah, pretty cool. What we doing? Let's see our runs now. As the the tiling squad was a pretty powerful handheld for its time, you know, and uh, like a game where Lucas called Battle Wheels was into the first person driving game. So you can choose between Ripley or, or the Predator, it looks like. You know, I'm, I'm assuming that girl is, is, is Ripley. So I'm going to choose her because she, she'll have weapons with this. So does the Predator, you know. I'm going to choose Ripley, you know. Bomber didn't prior to ship then from in the exit. Quite cool. This is cool. And you know what? This is pretty damn good. Who's this person following me around? I don't know. So this is just a prototype. I know it's a shame that I didn't um I just picked up some ammo. It's not bad, I mean it's good. I mean it's definitely playable. But everything looks the same so we can get lost pretty easily. Uh, but this is awesome. Yeah, so look not bad for a prototype. I've got energy, uh I'm on the proud to ship with this sort of person coming with me, I guess. You have like, like, like a tracker up, up, up in the top right hand corner, you got health, you got like a compass, so. Uh, for some reason, I can't move. Uh, So I can't go beyond this point, so this must be the start point, I guess. Yeah, well everything looks the same, so it's hard to figure out where you meant to go. That's the only complaint I have with it. Uh, so, what a holy. But, the, 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 there was definitely potential in this game, you know. Uh, but, that's the four button. I think maybe the problem is the Lynx only has two buttons, you know, uh, whereas, um, well, it has four buttons, but uh, the two top buttons and two bottom buttons do the same thing. The reason why the Lynx has four buttons is if if uh, if you're left-handed, you can press this button called uh, mode or something, and you, you, you can play the game left-handed, but there's a four button, but there's nothing else, like, you know what I mean? So there's no open button or switch weapons or anything like that so I think, I think that's the problem uh, there's no open door button or and uh, just four you know there's nothing to shoot at you know so yeah but you know it's, it's a shame that they didn't finish this game you know or uh, complete it you know because it's not terrible like the frame rate or whatever you know it's not so anyway, that that's a universal character and the links. It's a shame that it's you know it's unplayable, but it, it's it's unplayable, I guess, you know. I'm trying to figure this out myself, like, you know. Because they 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 wouldn't have gone to all that trouble with the with the story at the star screen and everything if they're just gonna <clears throat> release the game like this. Everything looks the same, that's the problem, you know, it's... Okay, so I'm going to go back and choose a different um, Atari Lynx game, you know. But pretty awesome that this, this even exists, you know. And that uh, you can play it on the Atari VCS, you know. So I'm going to go back and choose a different game, you know, uh, for the Lynx. Uh, so it's all A to Z games for the... Uh, with links, you got Batman, you got Basketball, 
uh, on some golf battle with us. So that's the game that uh, he got batters on for the uh, Italian so I wouldn't even know that happened. But I'm going to choose battle with us for us. This is a game I, I, bought, I got myself back in the day for, for, from my links. It's, it's the first person driving battle arena side of game. You have to destroy all the cars and kill all the all the drivers, you know. It's pretty cool, like, you know. Uh, in my opinion, battle wheels and uh, it's awesome to play it on the big screen on on the Italian VCS, you know. Yeah, just an awesome game, like, you know. Yeah, you, you can make it as hard or easy as you want, like, you know. And you can choose what what driver and car you want and stuff, you know. You, you can put the screen around, it's pretty cool. You can choose what my class you want to be in, you know. Medium is usually the best. So pretty cool, in my opinion. You drive around and let the blob do the cars. And then. And then you, you, you gotta kill the drivers, like, you know. It's all about the who 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 the last guy standing, like, you know. And uh, you know, so kill the boy, you know. It's not easy this guy. You have to dead, you know. Yeah, so that's that's. That's battle wheels now, I think it's pretty cool, like, you know. For, for the Italian links, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and choose uh, batters out. So I saw batters out over there for the uh, for the links, so I'm gonna show you that and you can know. This batters out came out in 2000, you know. So this is this came out like long after the, the links was finished, like, you know. So pretty cool. If Batters Island is a game that Atari should have kept, I mean, they, they shouldn't have sold the rights to someone else. Because it was an awesome game, and you can have the arcades and, and the Atari 2600. Yeah, nice night to one there, nice night to four. So, I'm guessing sometime after nice night to four, Atari, Atari sold the rights to Batters Island to someone else. Because when, when Batters Island showed up in PSVR, it was a different company that made it, it wasn't Atari, you know. I can't remember the name of what that company was. But it's a shame because Battles Arm was one of the best games of Battles Arm 2000, you know. In the beginning. <laughs> so Battles Arm, it didn't have a story, but now it does leave, you know. New breed of tanks have been de deployed to match any foul. Faster speeds and more sophisticated weapons. So, yeah, they gave it a story, league. Like, I didn't think it was. Yeah, I don't thought it was necessary to give Batters Island a story, but yeah, they, you know. Yeah, so let's you know, start the game. And you can choose your tank, you know, which is power ups and stuff. This is cute, they put a lot of effort in, into the Italian Links version of um, Batters Island, because in, in other versions, uh, this, you can't see what sort of tanks there is and the sort of points they give and stuff. And, it has a story, but 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 this is based off the arcade version because the arcade version of Battlezone has a factor graphics like that, like, you know. So pretty kill, cool, like, you know. You know, so wave number one, kill fire tanks. So yeah, it's different, Larry. They've definitely changed up the um, and you can uh, you can actually upgrade your tanks, which is pretty kill, cool, like, you know. Because in another version of Battle Zone, which you couldn't do this out, they're definitely putting a lot of effort into the, into the Atari Lynx version. And I hope Atari somehow get Battle Zone back and put it on the Atari VCS themselves, but I don't think they're going to do that, you know? So, so this is awesome, in my opinion. This is absolutely awesome. Uh, on the Atari Lynx, uh, like I said, we, we had no idea that this was on the Lynx order, like, you know? Just like uh, Aina vs. Predator, you know? And it's hard to tell it. It's a lot harder than the other uh, battle zones. 
but it's dead. And this, look, look, this, this, this is what I was asking about the Thai, the Thai research you can play these games. Because I'm sure that if if a, if a, if, a, if, a, if a, you were going to get Battle Zone 2000 for the links on cartridge, it probably costs a lot of money because it's not a, it's not a, 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 a mass produced game or something. Because we've we'll, we'll never heard of it, you know. It's a lot harder than, than the old um, Battle Zone, but it, it, it looks just like the arcade version, which is cool, like, you know. It runs great, like, you know. So, like, the links, like, they had a lot of power, I mean, they had a lot of great games. Oh, and this is this is one of them, you know, Battle Zone, Battle Zone 2000. So, that's oh, some stuff. Last. So I've got a, it's, it's it's definitely a lot harder, I tell you that. And uh, right here, man. You got shield, fuel, and ammo. So they've definitely changed the game and you know, all that, like, you know. Uh, they made it run better, look better. So it's a shame that they, uh, like I said, sold their battles on, you know. They should have kept it. Because this is a game that that'd be awesome on these high VCS, you know, a recharge, a, a recharge version or something, you know, it's a wave complete, you know, so, awesome, this is awesome, in my opinion, you know, because we have no, uh, we have no idea that, um, Battle Zone was on the Atari links, and this is awesome, in my opinion, and again, full screen on the, on the Atari VCS, Brilliant, and I'm using the keyboard to play the game, which is dead easy, the, just the arrow keys and the Z and X button, that's all you need, you know, for Atari Lynx games. So pretty cool. It's hard to tell you. Right him. Yeah, like, like Bat Battle Zone is one of those games where you just want to keep playing it over and over again. To, but this, like I said, you, you can upgrade your tanks. There's a starry and uh, you can bring in some more opinion. And the drop stuff and you, you, you pick it up, so pretty cool. So this is awesome. They've, they've really uh, done a, a great job with, with battles out here, really, you know. And uh, like I said, the graphics are, are, are just like the arcade, the arcade version, the defector graphics, but a lot better, like, in my opinion. Um, so, like, that one is a super tank. And, so, that's awesome, like, in my opinion. Like, you know? So, Battle, Battle Zone 2000 and, and the Atari Lynx and the Atari VCS, this is brilliant, like, you know. So, I'll show you one more game. Uh, for the Atari Lynx, you know, uh, you know, but the, the whole lot of them are here, you know, so the value with, with the Atari VCS is here. Now, Blue Lightning is, is an airplane game, I actually got this from my Lynx back in the day, like, you know, it's pretty good. It's sort of like, um, um, at the border, just a, a, a lot slower pace, it's not as fast paced, but it's more 3D looking, sort of, you know. Whereas Art of Burner is like 2D, you know, which, like Art of Burner is a much better game than Blue Lightning, in my opinion. But Blue Lightning is pretty awesome. And again, Atari Carp, this is a game that Atari should should make. But uh, uh, Epic's made, made the game, that's the reason, you know. <laughs> so, Atari just, 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 just published the game. And so, but it's, it's, a, it's a deadly game. And then... Um, Intermission called. So, like, for, for, for back in the day, this was brilliantly, you know, uh, compared to what was on the Game Boy or the Game Gear, even, you know. But the, 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 uh, there was two things that, that, that hindered, well, three things that hindered the, um, the, uh, the links. The price, the battery life, and the size of it, you know what I mean? It wasn't, it was a lot bigger than the, 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 than the Game Boy and the Lynx. The price, it was nearly 100 quid more expensive. And, you know, it's just the batteries leak. It, it took six AA batteries. 
and it lasts about two hours and you have to end um, doing more actions, you know, so it's a shame because it had great games, you know. But on the Atari Lynx, sorry, on the Atari VCS, you can enjoy the entire movie of uh, Atari Lynx games. It's awesome, as, as you can see, you know. So, yeah, I mean, so it's, it's a lot slower paced than the Art of Bourne, but it's the same sort of thing, you know. It's not bad, you know. You said for, for a handheld for the links, this was awesome back in the day. So I was, was, was looking for an, 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 an Art of Bourne to do a game, and I came across this. I said, yeah, we will get this link, you know. It's pretty cool, you know. It's like it's like easier than that to board because it's, it's a lot slower, you know. It gives you time to uh, get out of the way of enemy missiles and stuff. So it's pretty cool. A uh, 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 blue lightning leak, you know. Yeah, so yeah, like, the the entire VCS is awesome. This is what I'm talking about, value for money leak, you know. Because if you were to buy an Atari Lynx off eBay, that would cost you, well, I don't know how much it would cost, but it cost a lot of money, then they had to buy the game, so, with, with the beast sets, it's all in one place, full definition, full screen, and it's awesome. And so, yeah, it's a little the Atari Lynx was awesome, and I hope Atari, Bring out Atari Lynx games on the Atari VCS stars, you know, Brian League, you know, because uh, there's so many good games on the Lynx, you know, that uh, they should bring out on the Atari VCS star. We were surprised to find uh, an anniversary character and Battle Zone on the Atari Lynx, because we, we, we know a day of those on the Atari Lynx, you know, but they are, they are you know. Pretty awesome. Yeah, so you know, like any game on the links, it gets boring afterwards because you're just doing the same thing over and over again. But it's pretty cool, you know. You know, and, you know, it's like hard to board, it's just a lot slower paced. It's a bit easier too, you know. But like I said, back in the day, playing this on the links, my mind was blown, me, you know. That I could play this on the go, it was cool, you know. Like I said, it, the only thing is, I couldn't put it in my pocket because it was so big. And I put it in my bag and it's it heavy, you know. Um, you know but it was good, it was awesome. Yeah, so Luke, I did a few uh, Atari Lynx games on the Atari VCS. And like I said, Luke, you know, it's, 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 it's easy to use, it's great fun. And it's all here on the Atari VCS, you know. So uh, I hope everyone has a good day. Yeah, take care, boy boy.